welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Elena of Financial Demix, where I give you the tips and tools to manage your money, increase your savings and your income, and decrease your debt. And today we are talking about 12 money tasks that you should do in 2021. So if 2020 has not shown you anything, we know that you have to have your money together because nobody else is going to look out for you like you are going to look out for yourself. So the first task is to start contributing to a retirement account or to increase your contributions to your retirement account. If your job is offering a retirement plan and they're offering a match, you should already at the very least be contributing enough to get that match. So go ahead and make sure that you're doing that. And if you are, then it's time to increase the amount that you are contributing. So increase that up by one percentage. And if you're contributing a flat rate, then just calculate what is 1% of that rate that you are currently contributing to your retirement plan and increase the amount that you are contributing. It's going to benefit you in two different ways. The first way is you're going to have more money going to retirement. So you are going to have more money and, and may be able to retire early because you are increasing your contributions. The second way that it is going to benefit you is because remember, I told you in my video discussing 401ks and IRAs that contributions to your 401k reduce your taxable income dollar for dollar. So it's gonna benefit you by giving you more money later increasing your net worth, and it's going to benefit you by reducing your tax liability. Now, if your job does not offer a 401k, then you can contribute to a traditional or a Roth IRA. And I will link the two videos below where I talk more about both of those products. All right, the second thing I want you to do is make a plan for your windfalls. So if you are going to be getting any kind of money coming in, a lot of times we wait until we get the money to make a plan for the money. And at that point, we've already started spending the money. Um, and so tax season is coming up. You may be getting a bonus for your job. You may be getting a stimulus check. Make a plan of how you're going to use that money so that it's going to benefit you in the best way possible. So for example, I know some people who are, you know, they're currently struggling. Your plan may be to put it towards bills or to put it in your savings or put it towards food. Somebody who is currently working and are pretty secure, they may decide to save it also because building your emergency fund is important. But then there might be someone out there who's deciding to either put it towards a business or invest the money in the market. So just create a plan and look, it doesn't have to be all of the money. You can split money up. My favorite way to split money up is past. So that's towards like any debts, things you owe, present, something fun for you now and future, something that's going to benefit you later on in life. The third thing that I think you should do for 2021 is get a copy of your credit report and make sure that it is accurate. Look, we don't have time to wait until we actually need our credit to realize that something is wrong. Okay. So go ahead and get a copy of your credit report. Now in this current environment, you're able to actually get a free copy of your credit report every single week through annualcreditreport.com. So go ahead, get a copy of all three of your credit reports and make sure the information is accurate. If it's not accurate, then you need to dispute that information. The fourth thing that I want you to do is track your net worth on a monthly basis. There is no reason why we're out here not tracking our net worth to see where we stand. Our net worth is truly a thermometer on your finances, right? It tells whether or not you have too much liabilities, if you need more assets. And so it's really important to keep a track of it. If, even if you're not budgeting, at the very least track your net worth, I think it'll get you to a point where you decide you need to take more control of your money. 
and it kind of motivates you. When I track my net worth, I'm always looking for ways to increase it over time. And so that is something that you should be doing. The fifth thing that you need to do is get some life insurance. I've talked about this before. I will link a couple of life insurance companies below. If you do not have life insurance already, at the very least, get some term life insurance. It is cheap. I will link a video where I talk more about life insurance. You need something to support your family if you happen to pass away. Let's not pretend that things do not happen, right? Let's not, you know, hide under the covers and hope it doesn't happen. Go ahead and set your family up for success. Um, and that'll also have them where they're not in a place you know, worried about how they're going to pay for your final expenses. The sixth thing that you need to do is have a system to track your spending. You need to know where your money is going, right? Even if you are having just a bad month, you do need to have an idea of where it's going and where you can put it to benefit you in the way that you want it to work for you. Because remember, money is a tool. It's not um just something you play with right and so you want to use it to work for you and so find some type of system to be able to track how you spend your money whether you decide to use mint or personal capital or ynab which is you need a budget there's so many different types of software out there just find a way to track your money even if you just decided to use regular pen and paper and just look at how you're spending your money on a monthly basis. Track your money, see where it's going so that you can put that money towards the things you really want to do in life. You want your money to go towards your goals overall. You don't want it to go towards the things that don't really matter to you. The seventh thing that you should do is create a vision board for your financial goals. So I know a lot of people create vision boards for, you know, their life, like how they want their life to look um, in 2021, right? Um, but I think it's really important also to create a vision board just for your financial goals so that you can be very focused on them. Partly because those financial goals is really going to have an effect on all the other things that you want to do that's on your vision board. Because remember, everything is connected to money. So make sure you make a plan for your 2021 um, and create it and put on a vision board and put it somewhere where you can see it so you can stay focused on where you want to be. The eighth thing that you should do is set up bank account alerts. Setting up bank account alerts on your account will help you know where your account is and also know where something is going wrong. So getting an alert every morning to tell you what's in your checking accounts is important. It's also important to get an alert to tell you if money has been deposited in your account. And then there's so many other alerts that you could get on your account, but at the minimum, if the account that you do like your most of your spending in, uh, or you could even do it on your bill account. For me, I have it on all my uh, checking accounts. I know what the balance is. Every single morning, an alert comes to my phone. And if I see something that does not make sense, that triggers me to log into the account just to see what's going on. Sometimes it's just that it took a little longer for a payment to come out. Sometimes it's a little bit of money coming in that I didn't expect to come in. I mean, I was like, where did that come from? And so it's just important. You want to know what's happening in your account on a daily basis because you don't want to get surprised one day when you go to swipe that card. The next thing that you should definitely do in 2021 is prioritize building your emergency fund. I was going to try to do this video without talking about an emergency fund, but I just, I just can't. <laughs> um, if you do not have an emergency fund already, you need to prioritize building one. So determining how much you need in your emergency fund and start building towards that. I have so many videos on 
how to build an emergency fund so i will link them so just check here and of course it'll also be in the description box so prioritize your emergency fund remember you have to look out for yourself nobody is going to look out for you the next thing you should do in 2021 is learn how to invest so on this channel i don't talk about investing a lot but i do think that it is important to invest your money to build wealth in your life i don't want you to be stuck in a place where you built that foundation um, because you have your budget you have an emergency fund you've paid off your debt you have some strength of income but you don't invest um, you want to be able to earn money passively and investing helps you do that or either you can learn how to make money through trading either one but i want you to learn how to do that and there's just so many different ways in which you can learn how to do both of those things i'll link a couple below but there's just so many channels also on youtube that teaches you how to do these things for free and so it is time like spend some time this year just you know increasing your knowledge and learning a new thing and one of the things that you can learn is to invest sometimes people feel discouraged because they feel like it's going to be something that's difficult but the only difference between you and a person who's doing it is that the person who's doing it they took the time to learn how to do it and to test the waters and to try and look when you typically have high risk you have high reward so I'm not saying you're going to lose everything, but don't go into it thinking you're going to be perfect, but it'll be a great way for you to build wealth and to build another stream of income. The next thing that I want you to do in 2021 and earlier than later is to make sure you have beneficiaries set up on all of your accounts. A lot of people don't want to think about this, right? Because it's like morbid or something like that, but... It's really important to have beneficiaries set up on your account. It'll make it easier for them if something happens to you that they don't have to go through probate um, and go through the courts to get access to those funds. So it's very easy for you to do it. If you have retirement accounts at work, make sure your beneficiaries are set up and they're ready to go. If you have investment accounts, make sure beneficiaries are set up there. And any other type of accounts that you have that you're able to add a beneficiary, make sure that you already have them on there. This is like an easy task. It does not take long. I don't even think it's going to take you more than an hour if you had to call. And if you're doing it online like your girl would be doing, it's a quick turnaround. Like, I don't even think it's 30 minutes. So... Just make sure that all of that stuff is set up and ready to go. And the last thing I want you to do for 2021 is to get an accountability partner. Look, you shouldn't do this alone, right? You could do it alone, but who wants to do that? It's fun to have a person who you are working towards a goal with. And look, you don't have to have the same goal with your partner. You just have to know what your partner's goal is and support them in their goal. And they know what your goal is and they support you in your goal. And so you can set up little money dates, even if you can't do them in person. Maybe you're jumping on Zoom or Google Meet and you have your drink or your food or whatever. And you're going over your numbers and how you all are working towards that goal. It's also great to have that accountability partner because they are going to think of things that you're not going to think of. So the thing that you're thinking is difficult and you're trying to figure it out and, and it's just on your mind and keeping you up at night, you're going to tell them and they're going to just rattle off, oh, why don't you try da 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 And you're just going to see a light bulb go off like, why didn't I think of that? And so that's why you want to have somebody who's going to support you through your process, but also help you to reach your goals. And you're going to do the same for them. So you have the list of things that you need to do. Go ahead and get that accountability partner. Make sure y'all create your financial vision boards together and support each other through 2021. So in the comments below, let me know which task you're going to do first. 
If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I drop videos weekly all about the foundations of personal finance because I want you to win when it comes to your money also. And I will see you next week with an all new video.